Seriously though? Like that's moisturized, look at that glow. Hello, it's me, Coco. In my last video, I talked a lot about plastics in our everyday life and how we really need to avoid them and how this is really difficult for us to do because companies are just offering us products in their plastic packaging. If you wanna see more about that video, check it out right here. Today I wanted to highlight a brand that's been doing really well with their ecological sustainability and show you how retailers can be packaging their products to be more eco-friendly. The brand is called Face Theory. I found them through targeted ads. I paid for these products and this is not a sponsored post at all. Although I didn't start this channel to do product reviews, I do think that it is important to highlight brands who are doing the right thing. And I wanted to show you all what I think that looks like right now in 2020. So like I said, I found Face Theory through targeted ads and I remember clicking on it and looking at the products and thinking that they looked really good for their sustainable packaging and then for their great ingredients, for the kind of like um, scientific related chemicals and then also for the more natural ingredients too. It's a good blend of those and I thought it was a good fit for me. But at the time I wasn't looking to buy any skincare and then I clicked out of it and remembered the products but I forgot the name of the company and so it took a while for that ad to come back but finally I found it and I was able to pick out some products I had used all of my old products up. In the past, I was using these conventional drugstore face wash brands that I thought were doing a really good job, but actually were drying my skin out and causing me to break out and get adult acne. So I've been wanting to clear my skin up. The number one thing that I did to clear my skin was actually to go vegan. I feel like after I went vegan, just like the overall quality of my skin got a little bit better, kind of like I was walking around with like a permanent Instagram filter on my face. I'll just leave that there, but it definitely helps to have good quality products that are also helping you along the way with whatever your skin issues are. I'm gonna open up the package, show you how it's packaged, and then I'm gonna show you my morning routine, my night routine, my results, and my final thoughts. So here goes. Here is the package, it comes in a cardboard box. Okay nice way to open. When you open the box, it looks like styrofoam peanuts. Dun, dun, dun! But, oops. Don't worry, these are 100% compostable styrofoam peanuts, which just goes to show that you don't need to go for styrofoam or go for a plastic bubble wrap in order to protect your shipped goods. And here is how the products come wrapped up. Here I have Regenesee Moisturizer. This is the Clarifying Cleanser. Glycolic Acid Face and Body Scrub. Warm Bright N10 Serum. I really like the plaque packaging because, get this, these are glass bottles. Not only are they recyclable, but they're also reusable. I could definitely imagine you reusing this for um, getting bulk spices for the kitchen or for the bathroom holding bobby pins or cotton balls or something. So I think this is really great to be able to offer packaging that can be reused before it gets recycled. The tops are also metal and um, I also like the branding. It kind of has this like scientific style to it that looks kind of like a periodic table or something and I like it because it's not gender specific and that makes it inclusive for all people who want to use it. All right, back in the box with the cornstarch tip. Back in the box with the back in the box with the cornstarch chips. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. Good morning, you voyeuristic freaks and welcome. In case you're wondering, yes, I did wake up like this. I'm part way through my morning routine and now I'm gonna wash my face with some of these products. First things first, I need to get this hair out of the way. Yep, just like that. I'm gonna start with the glycolic face and body scrub. It is a gentle exfoliating scrub with glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and jojoba or jojoba beads, whichever you prefer. Opening the container, you can see, 
product in there. It's kind of like this light blue green color with some little beads in it. And the smell is a light, kind of like fresh orange smell. Maybe a little bit creamy, but it smells really, really nice. I really like it. Oh, let's see what the directions are. To use, rinse your face first with warm water, apply this scrub, leave for a minute, and then rinse again with warm water. Well, let me tell you something. I probably should have read those directions a month ago when I first started using this product. And I'll tell you why in a second. My face is wet. I'm going to dip in and just get a little bit on my finger and apply it all over my face. I got this product because I really believe that the secret for skincare is exfoliate and moisturize. And obviously you need to use good quality products when you're doing those two things. And I just kind of felt like, or I have been feeling like, although I like the experience of using this product because the texture feels nice on my skin and I like the beads and the smell is really nice. I was kind of afraid that it wasn't really exfoliating enough. And so I was thinking, Okay, maybe a mask is really necessary for this. Although, I do want to buy fewer products. I knew that glycolic acid was a key ingredient in this product, and I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should just like keep it on for a little bit and then wash it off, because that way the glycolic acid has a lot more time to activate and work on the skin. Because what I was feeling was that just putting this on, working it in, and then washing it off straight away wasn't really doing the exfoliation job that I really needed. I would kind of feel like I had a little, just a little bit of extra skin uh, left on my face after I wash this off and then I would I know estheticians are gonna nail me for this one but I would just kind of like rub it a little bit with my washcloth to get a little bit more of that natural physical exfoliation to get the, that extra skin off it's been about a minute I'm gonna wash it off before I was using these products I was using a face wash that is by a very popular cheap drugstore brand. It had the exfoliating beads, but I think maybe it was just a little bit too strong for my face. And not only was I having a little bit of dry skin underneath my nose, but I also was breaking out and these products were not really doing what they needed to do. That one was probably a little bit too harsh for my face. One thing that I've learned about skincare is that you really need to be really gentle with your skin if you want to take really good care of it. That means no harsh physical exfoliants such as, let's say, um, like walnut shells or apricot pits or whatever. That stuff is just too rough for your face and you can end up doing a lot of damage. So what do you do when you don't use physical exfoliants? You use the chemical exfoliants. And that's why I chose a face wash with glycolic acid in it because it is actually a chemical exfoliant. And actually after leaving on the exfoliating face wash, for a little minute before I wash it off, I can feel my skin is smooth. I don't have a lot of that extra skin on top of it. My next step is the Pore Bright N10 Serum. It's non-comedogenic, 10% niacinamide and azelaic acid serum. I'm not really sure what azelaic acid is, but I know that niacinamide is a humectant, which means that it pulls moisture into the skin. The directions for this one say, give this serum a gentle shake to activate. Use after cleansing in problem areas twice a day. I'm going to give a little shake here and I'll tell you I don't use this twice a day. I only use it in the morning. The texture is really watery and honestly, I only really need one drop. A little bit goes a long way. Part of me feels like, why am I using this product that looks like water, feels a lot like water? Is it just water in a bottle? But actually, after using this for a little while, I can feel that, you know, even if it goes on just like water, you can feel it and you can even see the moisture on my skin. It works, it's a, it's a very subtle product, but it works. I would definitely recommend this if you have dry skin in the winter time. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna still need this in the summertime, 
because uh, usually I don't need as much help with the moisture factor. The next product that I'm gonna put on is the Regenacy Moisturizer. It's a rich day cream with retinol, vitamin C, and hyaluronic acid. Let me tell you something. What do you mean it's a day cream? I feel like if it's a day cream, then it should have SPF in it. That's the only difference between a day cream and a night cream for me. If you're gonna have a rich day cream, it's just a night cream because it doesn't have SPF in it, which is what you need for the day. And let me tell you, putting on sunscreen on top of all this stuff it is a little bit much. Anyway, here are the directions. To use, gently massage this rich cream in, onto a cleansed face and let the unique complex protect and hydrate your skin. All right. Similarly with the Pore Bright Serum, I don't need a whole lot of product. I'm just using like a little swipe here, a little here, a little here. I think that was a lot. And then I just work it in. So you can see my skin is cleansed, it's exfoliated, it's moisturized. I'm ready to go about my day, maybe after a little bit of SPF application. And yeah, I'll be back to show you what I do for my night routine. Well, it's the end of the day and I'm back for my nightly skincare routine. So of course, I have to start with putting back my hair. So here we go again. I just got my face wet and I'm gonna start with the clarifying cleanser. An AHA BHA triple acid cream cleanser that removes makeup and impurities. So because of this label, I decided to make this my nighttime face wash. The instructions say, splash your face with warm water at body temperature, apply a small amount of cleanser and massage in to refresh and renew. Rinse to reveal fresh, cleansed skin. The scent is the same nice orange scent from the exfoliating cleanser, but this one has a really, really different texture. It's very creamy. Like that. It's creamy in the jar and it feels really creamy on the skin. It does an okay job of removing my makeup, um, but mostly what I like about it is that when I rinse it off, I don't have that tight, dry feeling that I get from other face washes, and I think it's because it's not overly drying out my skin. It leaves my skin feeling kind of moisturized, and I think that's always a really good thing. You never want to be super harsh with your skin. Before I started this review, I would have said that you don't really need two cleansers, and I would have recommended this one because I really prefer the creamy texture to the kind of like snotty texture of the exfoliating cleanser. But after letting that exfoliating cleanser sit on my face for a minute before I wash it off this morning, I can definitely tell the utility of it and that you wouldn't necessarily want to do that twice a day to your skin. Um, I would recommend both of these face washes. They both do such a good job. I mean. They're really complimentary. My next step is the Regenicom Serum. This one is an intensive treatment serum with licorice, dill, 2% retinol, ester, and vitamin C. You know, out of all of the products that Face Theory carries, the retinol products are definitely the money shot. My understanding is that retinol is the only skincare ingredient that's actually clinically proven to slow the signs of aging. I myself was using a retinoid for um, a period of time in my 20s and I swear I didn't really age a day during that period. So naturally I'm looking for something to kind of like carry on in that way because <laughs> I'm brainwashed to think that looking younger is better. <laughs> I went with the 2% though, because they offer a 2% and a 3%, and this can be actually kind of harsh on your skin when you first start using it, so it's better to start off, in my opinion, with the lower percentage and then move on to a higher percentage for your next product. I can say that in my experience with this product, it didn't cause a lot of sensitivity in my skin. However, I did notice that my skin would turn red a lot faster than normal. And so I, I'm pretty sure that it's because of this. And as time goes on and I keep using it, that side effect will eventually go away. But I think it is very important to use a sunscreen when you're using a retinoid. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about buying this product or something similar. Another reason why I like a lot of the products from Face Theory is I just 
do really like the ingredients that they use. I know for myself, I've seen really good results using products that have licorice fruit extract in them. It's just like really good for your skin. And then vitamin C also. If it's manufactured in a way that your skin is able to absorb well, then it is a great product for your skin. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. The instructions say, give Regenicom a gentle shake to activate. Apply a few drops to blemishes, fine lines, dark spots, and areas of hyperpigmentation. Well, I've been using it pretty much all over my face. Here's a little shake. And honestly, similarly to the other product, I think I only really need one drop. And I gotta say, I really have noticed a difference in the hyperpigmentation in my face because my skin is so fair. If I get a pimple once, it likes to just stick around with that hyperpigmentation for maybe a month or two or more after. And one of the first things that I noticed after I started this line was that those spots were fading super quick. I didn't buy night cream from this line because I already had some night cream from before. All the rest of my skincare items I had like completely run out of before I got this shipment of products, except for this um, herbal anti-blemish cream that I got in India. This one attracted me because um, it was really cheap. I think it was only like $6. It's really thick and creamy. It smells amazing. Like I feel like I'm going to the spa every time I I use it and it has a lot of those herbal ingredients that keep the skin in great condition like the licorice root extract um but yeah that's it that's my whole washing up end of the day routine except for this part this is the good part <laughs> All right, it's time for bed. So stay tuned for my full review with before and after pictures and the whole shebang. Good night. Good night. Overall, I've had a really great experience with these products and I can definitely say that although I mostly switched to this brand because I liked the ingredients and because I liked the packaging and I just needed something for my skin, I didn't really expect there to be any dramatic results and I was actually pretty surprised. I started using these and then a couple days later, I noticed like my skin kind of improving. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to take a before picture. So here is a picture maybe like a couple days after I started using these. Then my skin kind of cleared up. I took another picture uh, around two and a half weeks after that. And I know what you might be thinking. Well, a lady has a certain kind of cycle and you have to compare skin in one month increments. So here is a photo that was taken exactly one month after I started using these products. And clearly you can see that my skin has cleared up. It looks smoother and just kind of like glowier. And I can definitely say that any problems that I have had with my skin have definitely been tiny little things that I've just been picking at. I'm just gonna be real. As soon as I can stop doing that, then I can just go ahead and have that perfect vegan glow. In any case, I'm really satisfied with the quality of the products and using them. If I were to give myself a grade for getting these, I would give myself probably like a B, and I'm just knocking myself down a little bit. A for needing products to begin with. I know a certain someone who just puts coconut oil on his face and that seems to be working just fine for him, but you know, some people just have more sensitive needs. So that's kind of like feeling like I need the products in the first place and then just knock down a little bit more for these products being shipped overseas. They're made in Sheffield in the United Kingdom, but if I could possibly find a more local brand, I think it would be really great to do that so that the products don't have to get shipped overseas. On that note also, I think it's important to note that these took kind of a while to ship. So if you're in the US and you want them, you should know that it might take like a month for them to come uh, and just be patient just know that that's gonna happen and then it'll be okay. Overall, if you have problems with your skin and you feel like you need to get something, I would recommend this brand because they don't test on animals, all of the products are vegan, and they're shipped with sustainable packaging. So what do you think? Would you consider changing your skincare regimen to a brand that is really eco-conscious and vegan? Let me know in the comments below or do you know any other brands who are doing really great things? Subscribe if you want to see more content from me and like this video if you thought it.
was useful. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, here's the best part. <laughs> and that's how I style my hair for the day. <laughs>